want to learn how to showcase your personality on Hinge? Stay tuned because I'm about to go over the best Hinge prompt response answers for guys. If you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I release a new dating advice video for men who want to get more dates with women they're really excited about. And be sure to follow us on social media. I'm Emily, founder of mloves.com, and something I spend a ton of time on with my clients is how to really make their dating profiles, especially Hinge, competitive and stand out from the competition. So today we're gonna talk about how to make your Hinge prompt response answers clever, witty, compelling, exciting, everything you need to really showcase your personality and to make you stand out from your competition. Favorite mistake. This guy writes, most spontaneous thing I've done. Three friends and I bought plane tickets to South Africa because a website posted the cost incorrectly. One of the best decisions I have ever made. I love this because it shows that sometimes mistakes can lead to really exciting and, and meaningful experiences, which is great. It shows me that um, he kind of flies by the seat of his pants, that he's not afraid to be adventurous. Um, it makes me curious about him. I want to learn more about like why they were looking for trips and um, it just makes me look at him as like a really interesting guy and if I was his girlfriend that we would do really interesting, spontaneous, adventurous things together. So if he's trying to attract a very adventurous girl, he's doing a really excellent job. Another great hinge answer, uh, best travel story. I was in New Orleans when the Eagles won the Super Bowl. Long story short, my nipple may or may not have been pierced. Very, very funny. Uh, this again tells me that he's fun. Um, he can make you laugh. If you are his girlfriend, he would probably be doing things that were just crazy all the time and having a great time. Um, he doesn't seem like he takes himself too seriously. He definitely lives in the moment. All of these things are, they just would add value to a woman's life and make going on a date with him sound like a really great idea because it would definitely be fun. So when you're thinking about how to respond to these prompt responses, make sure you're showing her a little bit of your character and personality and that if she went on a date with you, you would be a really fun choice. All right, this next hinge prompt response answer really sets the stage for a great date, which can kind of prime a woman who is reading your profile to think about, oh, that would be a great experience and make her more likely to say yes when you do invite her on a date. So he writes, my simple pleasures, enjoying live music at a waterfront restaurant, enjoying seafood and a good beer. This is a great way to paint a picture of what it would be like for the woman to go on a date with you. So you can use this strategy to start compelling a woman to want to match with you and then also to prime her to say yes to your date idea. Just make sure it sounds very enjoyable, creative, and different than what every other guy is doing. So I would avoid describing like happy hours or dinners and try and get more into like cupcake dates and cookie dates, chocolate tasting dates, boba, tea, things that are like a little more creative. And also if you're following my first date blueprint, you want to spend less than $10. So um, putting in there a really compelling like cupcake tasting date, now it's priming the woman to not only swipe right on you, but also to say yes when you invite her on a date. Another really great hinge answer is one that is polarizing. So you really want to speak to the audience that you're looking to attract and you don't want the people who don't get what you're saying to swipe right on you. So this guy writes, I'll know I found the one when we can act like Andy and April Dwyer. The reason I love this so much is because I have no idea who these people are. I'm sure it's from, you know, The Office or some show like that, um, but I don't know who they are, so I probably wouldn't swipe right. And that would be a good thing because I wouldn't be a match for that person if I haven't even seen the show that he's referring to. Um, this is really important because you want your profile to be polarizing. You do not want women who don't get you to swipe right on you. Although people think, oh, I'll just be as broad as possible and then I'll get as many right swipes as I can, it actually goes the opposite direction. It's the same exact thing in politics. 
If a politician is trying to win an election, he really cannot try to win over everyone because it's gonna just make him forgettable. You actually want to be polarizing. You want the people who would never vibe with you to be like, oh hell no, swipe left. And the people that really, really vibe with you to be like, oh hell yeah, swipe right. So I love this because it speaks to a very specific audience and that is half of the battle. Another great thing you can do on your Hinge profile or with the Hinge prompt responses is demonstrate ambition. Women love driven men. We want the guy who knows what he wants and is going there actively every single day to get it. And so I love this answer. Um, this was a prompt response that started with, this year I really want to, and then he says, run a half marathon, maybe a full marathon next year. I wanna try yoga and change my exercise routine to functional fitness. So cool, this guy sets goals, he knows what he wants, he probably achieves goals all the time. I love that he knows who he is and what he's going after. As a woman, that's what I want. That's what makes me feel safe. I wanna know that this guy is like on track with his goals because it tells me that he would protect me if anything happened. And that's like undercover what a lot of girls are looking for. Another really powerful thing you can do is, is to be funny on your profile. It's a little bit difficult though because humor doesn't always land, especially sarcasm. Um, so maybe have a couple people read your profile and tell you whether they understand what you're trying to say. The fewer words, the better usually, just because if you can't hear someone's tone of voice, sometimes sarcasm doesn't translate very well. Um, but this guy wrote, I donate a kidney for the highest bidder. Very clever, very funny, makes me laugh. That adds value to my life. Um, just keep in mind, like the main goal of your profile is really to be polarizing and to attract the audience that you want. So if you're not being specific or telling her enough about you, then I would avoid trying to be funny in lieu of like telling her something interesting about you that sets you apart from other men. But if you have a lot of other pieces on your profile that really demonstrate who you are, what you're all about, and the very specific things that set you apart, then having something that makes her laugh is very, very important and very valuable as well. A really good way to use a funny answer on your profile so that it's also giving information about you is to incorporate um, either like a favorite musician, a favorite book, favorite author, favorite food into that funny comment. So this guy did a great job. He says, I don't always streak, but when I do, Blink-182's What's My Age Again is playing in the background. What I love about this is that it's so relatable to my generation. So he's speaking directly to a very specific audience who loved that song, remembers when that song came out, like was all about that song. And uh, it's also polarizing the people who don't know what he's talking about to swipe left, which is really, really powerful. You want, again, you want those people that are like, oh my God, I totally get what you're saying to swipe right and then the other people to swipe left. You don't wanna be generic or vague or forgettable, otherwise you just won't be able to compete with the other guys that are on the apps. Another funny response would be, um, I'd fall for you if you push me over. Very clever, very funny. Just make sure you're also getting in information about you that sets you apart from other men. This guy did a really great job of being polarizing and looking for a very specific audience. So in all three of his prompt questions, he responds with the same answer. One was, I won't shut up about outer space. The next one is, my ideal first date would be in outer space, and I geek out on outer space. I actually think this is kind of interesting because if he's really looking for a girl who shares his passion for outer space, he's like nailing it on the head. He's super polarizing. He's like narrowing his audience a lot. He's also being clever and funny. Um, I would just say like, this is great if you're super passionate about one specific topic and you really want the girl you're dating to be into that as well. Um, but I think you could also add more information about yourself using the other prompt responses. Before we get into any more hinge prompt responses, I would love to hear from you if you have a prompt response that's been working really well for you on your profile, because sharing is caring guys. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so that you get notified every time I drop a new dating advice video for men who wanna get more dates with women they're really attracted to, and make sure to follow me on social media. All right, let's dive back in. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite funny hinge answers. 
Uh, so this guy says, worst roommate story ever. Once shared a womb with another dude for nine months. I love it. So funny, so creative, so clever. He's obviously a twin. Um, definitely made me laugh and was very creative. That also tells me that he's probably very funny, creative, thoughtful. Um, so if you're, if you're standing out by making her laugh because you're being really unique and thinking really creatively, it also tells her other things about you without having to like really tell her specifically. It demonstrates that, right? So very powerful. So creative hinge answers. I love this guy's answer on my bucket list, coral reef scuba diving in the Australian Great Barrier Reef skydiving in New Zealand, sushi in Japan, and Oktoberfest in Germany. The list goes on. Why I love this so much is because he's so specific. Uh, the key to really being polarizing on your profile and getting women who are super all about what you're about um, to swipe right on you is to be really polarizing. You don't want your profile to be generic or vague or forgettable. This guy knows exactly what he has on his bucket list, which means he probably is so specific about his goal setting that he gets what he wants. And that's super sexy. Plus, um, just me personally as a scuba diver, I would definitely want to reach out to him and ask him a question about the Australian Great Barrier Reef scuba diving. Like, why do you want to go there so much? And then we'd probably get into a conversation about like the best scuba spots or the coolest thing we've seen while scuba diving. It really speaks to that specific audience of scuba divers, but it doesn't just narrow it down to scuba divers because then he says skydiving in New Zealand. Again, something I haven't done, but I'm very interested in. And he's speaking to that audience that really is thrill seeking and adventure seeking and probably polarizing away from the audience that would be freaked out and would never wanna do that, which is really, really important. I would probably also want to talk to him about the skydiving because I've never done it and have always wanted to do it. What a great date idea that would be also. Um, sushi in Japan and Oktoberfest in Germany. I just love that he has so many different places that he specifically wants to travel to and he actually already has ideas for what he'll do in each of those places. So one thing you don't want to do on your profile is be so vague that you're like, I like to travel because now you're just you're, it's so vague. Um, everybody likes to travel, mostly, but what sets you apart? Where do you wanna to travel to? Where do you hope the woman that you're looking to attract wants to travel to? Really think about how specific you can get. And if your bucket list is really generic, then it's probably never gonna happen because you don't actually have a clear picture of what you wanna do. And a woman can see that a mile away and she'd prefer the guy who's very crystal clear on his goals because he's the guy who will probably get them and do that. Another really creative um, prompt response is, if I could have one superpower, the power to control subatomic particles, this power would be the best choice since everything in the universe is composed of this stuff. I love this answer. It's super specific and it also demonstrates that he's very intelligent, probably thinks a lot, definitely has a scientific mind. Um, I can kind of tell ways that we would get along and I can also sort of see ways that we probably wouldn't get along, which means he's being polarizing and specific which is super powerful for attracting your ideal girlfriend, not just some Joe Schmo. Another answer I like because it's so specific is next vacation I wanna go on, skiing in Japan. Really interesting. A, it makes me curious because I didn't even know you could ski in Japan, but um, it's, it's very precise. So a woman who's like, oh, I always wanted to go to Japan or, oh, I love skiing, she's going to swipe right. Whereas a woman who's like, oh, I hate skiing or I hate Japan is going to swipe left. Again, it's really specific and polarizing, which is the key. Another prompt response I like is anytime that you're talking about favorite foods. Favorite foods um, is a really powerful thing to add to your profile because you want the, the girl that you're looking for to share that in common with you. If she doesn't like the same thing you like, then there's always gonna be fights over what you're gonna have to eat. Um, there's also a lot that goes into having a favorite food and sharing that with someone else. There's a deep compatibility that is created when two people love the same food. So this guy says, where to find me at the party? Buy the tacos. Just another way to incorporate your favorite food into your prompt response answer. And really that's what you should be doing. You should be incorporating favorite foods, favorite musician, favorite hobby, favorite book, favorite um, 
you know, anything that's going to really set you apart from other people. Try to be as polarizing as you can. Really funny prompt response, especially for my guys who are a little bit shorter. This guy says, what I wanted to be when I grew up, taller. Very funny, very clever. Um, a good thing to put in your profile if you feel like height might be holding you back. Love it when people get specific about the favorite shows that they watch on their profile because this is so polarizing. If you and another girl like the same shows, chances are you also have similar values, similar um, like things that you've experienced in life. You're gonna have a deeper compatibility. And if a woman sees that you like certain shows and she hates those shows, it's just gonna show her that you guys probably aren't that compatible and that's great. You want those girls out before you even waste time or energy on the ones that don't understand you. So this guy writes, I geek, I geek out on Netflix shows, but he doesn't just say Netflix shows because that would be so broad. Everybody likes Netflix shows. He actually lists the shows that he likes. So he says Stranger Things and Ozark most recently. That's really great. Either you put your favorite show, your favorite movie of all time, or you maybe talk about something that you just binged on Netflix. That's gonna help to create a deep compatibility and you're going to um, find that you have more in common with the women that you do match with. This one uh, I thought was hilarious. So he writes, worst fad I participated in, puka, shell, necklace. This is definitely speaking to a specific audience who were uh, at a specific age when the puka shell necklace thing was way hot. We're all, the people from that era are all guilty of liking those. We also liked guys who had the spiky hair and the uh, bleach tips. Very funny, takes me back to like the silliest things that we used to do at that time. Um, and it also speaks to such a specific audience that it really polarizes. And so the women who understand that reference are gonna wanna swipe right because it's just, it adds so much value to their life, the fact that he's saying that. The people who don't get it, they're probably not gonna swipe right and that's great, that's what you want. I hope these examples were helpful for you guys. I recommend not copy and pasting them, but using them to create your own hinge prompt responses that really stand out from the competition, polarize the audience, and get the right women to swipe right on you. And guys, I know that online dating can be tough. That's why I'm here to help. In fact, you can go to my website right now and book a, a new client session with myself or a member of my team at mloves.com forward slash book. During that intro session, we can talk about your dating goals, any of the issues that you've been running to, especially on online dating or dating apps, uh, and then we'll answer any questions that you might have. We'll also talk to you a little bit about how our coaching and matchmaking programs may be the perfect solution for you to achieve your dating goals. Now you have some great Hinge prompt response answers that you can use to stand out from the competition on Hinge. If you haven't already done so, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I release a new dating advice video, and follow us on social media.